For those of you who are taking thesis seminar, I wanted to spend a few minutes uh, advice. We're finishing week six, and as you're completing your literature review, this is the time uh, during the semester I think that uh, can be m the most stressful for some students. I don't think it necessarily needs to be stressful, but I understand that for many of you, you might be feeling stressed. You might be thinking, well, how are my classmates handling it? Uh, how do I compare to my classmates? And as much as I encourage you to work together, as much as I encourage all of us to work as transparently as possible, which is one of the reasons why we're sharing so many documents, so many Word documents are being shared. All of the content is being shared openly in Notion. But one of the reasons for this is that you're always encouraged to, to look at what others are doing, not to necessarily copy them, but to see how they're coming together and also looking at the uh, the feedback that I'm providing your classmates. The One of the reasons why I'm trying to make the feedback that I provide all of you as transparent as possible is so that we're learning together as a community, that you're looking at the types of feedback that I'm giving uh, your classmates and seeing to what degree that is also or what how that could be relevant to your own development. So I encourage you to continue watching not only your own videos that are made available to you in the playlist in Microsoft Teams, but also the videos that are from your classmates. So I think the development of the literature review is can be one of the most uh, difficult aspects actually of the literature review. I think once you get into the method section, you're doing your own study and you're, you're doing your own analysis. You're uh, reporting on your own findings. I think uh, for some students, that's uh, more enjoyable perhaps than, than the actual theory. But the theory aspect is very important. And as we are completing unit one, and the, uh, we're completing the development of the literature review, we want to, again, make sure that what we're including in our theory relates directly to our research. We don't want to have anything in our theory that doesn't directly relate to our research questions. Remember that the research questions and the thesis statement really are the bridge between the theory and your actual study. It's the connection between the two. So that's why I've been encouraging all of you from the very beginning to think about those research questions. Think about the, the thesis statement, those key points that you're including in the thesis statement as you're developing those in your theory. Think about that when you're developing and collecting data, I should say, when you're developing your instruments. Well, we're going to talk more about that next week, but I don't want you to feel overly stressed. I want you to reflect on the time that you're dedicating to this research project. And I feel that if you're putting in the time necessary, uh, then uh, many times that can alleviate some of the, the stress. If you're not putting in the time that you need to, that can be stressful. Um, but try to put in the time necessary and make sure that you're reaching out to me when you need feedback. Some students like to receive a lot of feedback. Others uh, don't like to receive a lot of feedback. So this class really is designed with that in mind. So a lot of times I'm going to ask you, you need to reach out to me if you need some feedback, if you want feedback, if you're not sure what the next step is in your process, then those are times where you need to reach out, whether it's through a comment in your shared Word online document, or if it's more serious in nature, then we get online, we meet online, and we discuss your situation. I am encouraging everyone again to also work as often as possible in your Word online documents. Right? This is uh, for your benefit in the sense that it will be considered when I'm grading your products, when I'm grading your final paper. I'm going to be looking to see how many edits, how many revisions were made to your document. I understand that in some cases, maybe broadband is a limitation. So in those cases, you need to try to upload as often as possible. Remembering that when you copy and paste from one document to the next, oftentimes changes to the format 
will incur. So you'll need to go in and make those changes. You'll have to re, uh, maybe check the, the spacing, the indentation, maybe even the font type, the font size. All those things are likely to change whenever you're copying and pasting over from one document to the next. So also keep that in mind. I'm going to be checking plagiarism. I'm going to be checking grammar. I'm going to be checking coherency, the thesis statement, research questions, checking that everything is in, al in alignment. And I'll be doing that this weekend. So for this week, our goal is to try to complete our literature review. This Friday, we're going to have our next mandatory online session that will begin at 8 o'clock in the morning. I anticipate needing about an hour or so, maybe hour and a half, an hour to an hour and a half uh, to kind of go over some information that is directly related to the method section. The method section is a little bit different in that you're only going to be asked to write 500 words more or less, but there's a lot to those 500 words. What I mean by that is there's a lot of things we need to do outside of just simply writing an academic text. For example, we need to develop instruments. We need to talk about a procedure, the process that you're going to follow to collect data. We're going to talk again about your participants, special permissions, the, uh, the profiles of your participants. We're going to get really into the details as to what is going to be included in your method section. We'll also talk about what kind of design that your study is going to be. Is it going to be a qualitative study, a quantitative study, or mixed methods. So this Friday, 8 o'clock in the morning, we'll meet online in Microsoft Teams, just as we did in the first week of class. It's a mandatory class. Everyone is expected to be there. And for those of you who have a tutoring session scheduled uh, on Friday, that's going to be optional in terms of attendance. Okay, so if you're... If you have a tutoring session scheduled during the same time as our online meeting, if you want to schedule something later in the day, that's fine, but it's not required in terms of attendance. This is basically our last day on Friday uh, of Unit 1. So I'm assuming most of you will be spending time your final changes to your literature review. I'm going to ask that you try to complete, in fact, I'm going to ask that you complete your uh, theory in your shared Word Online document by midnight of Friday. That's Friday night going into Saturday morning. I usually wake up fairly early in the morning. Uh, and so on Saturday, when I get up, I will at that point download all of the documents from Microsoft Teams. So there's no need to send a file attachment to my email or send it to me via chat. I'm going to ask that you please don't send anything. It's not necessary. Again, I'll do download all of the documents and I will have them uh, on, my, on my computer. And I will try to get the feedback to you as soon as possible. I think there are 48 or 49 of you, but I will do my best to finish that up as soon as possible. But we're going to begin on Monday diving right into our method section. Now, I want to talk more about this on Friday and get uh, some of your ideas, some of your feedback about this possibility. But because we basically have from March 8th through April 16th to, to basically cover everything that's related to data collection, that is designing the instruments, uh, it's going to include, um, you know, the, the procedures, observations. It's going to include everything. Um, I, I'm going to, I'm going to probably share all of the tutoring sessions, all right, in Microsoft Teams, just as I've done in the past. The only difference is I'm going to share it in the post section. So essentially, I'm going to open up all of our tutoring sessions. I'm going to keep I'm going to respect the, the times, okay? We're going to keep the same schedule for the tutoring session. So if those of you who have tutoring sessions scheduled on Monday, all right, March 8th, we will meet as normal. But I'm going to open it up and encourage anyone to come in and watch the, the tutoring session to, to do so, right, in real time. 
I'm going to also obviously make these videos available. But I really encourage you, more than any time in the past during this course, right? When we get into the methods section, you're really going to need to listen and watch the conversations that I have with your classmates this first week, that is starting March 8th, so that you can all begin thinking and deciding on certain aspects of your study. Now, if there are certain questions that come up, of course, if your tutoring session is not scheduled for next week, you can reach out to me, send a, a, a question in your Word document. But I don't want you to, for those of you who don't have a tutoring session next week, I don't want you to just to start thinking about your methods section in the following week. That's my point. All of us need to begin thinking starting March 8th about the instruments that you're going to need, the types of op observations that you're going to conduct, start to confirm dates and times where, where you're going to observe and administer either interviews or focus groups. These are the types of conversations I'm going to have with all of you starting on March 8th. And I think this will help if all of you are part of this conversation in, a, in the sense that you are listening in to your classmates' feedback and getting some ideas about what would be relevant, what would be useful to you or for you. I'm going to ask everyone that all of us have some kind of conversation before you start to collect data. Please make sure that we have some kind of communication before you start to collect your data, just so that you get some advice, right, uh, before you start to collect your data. This is very important because we need to be very systematic. We need to be very purposeful. There needs to be a reason why you're collecting this piece of inf information at this time, in this moment, what's the whole process? It really does matter, especially if you're doing an intervention. We're, we're going to talk about this in greater detail on Friday, but um, it's really important that all of you are in attendance this Friday in our whole group conversation. I have a lot of things to talk about, and um, I, I want it to be really clear how we're going to start next week. And again, next week, I think is going to be really important that you are part of the conversation. I'm still thinking about a, a, a way to make this as transparent as possible this next week, these, these first tutoring sessions. Again, this is not to put those of you uh, on the spot, those of you who have tutoring sessions next week. Um, but I really want to keep this as open as possible. And the last thing I want is that those of you who have tutoring sessions scheduled for next week, to not think about what you need to do. We all need to be working towards our method section starting next week, starting on Monday. All right, guys, um, hang in there. I know this is a stressful time. Uh, I think the, the best thing to do to overcome stress is to not compare yourself with your classmates, but do your, do your own thing. But at the same time, reach out and reach out to me Reach out to any of the participants, whomever you need to reach out to to get information that you need. It will, I think, help the stress levels. And find, the, find out what kind of feedback I'm giving your classmates. I think that might also help alleviate some of your stress. And put in the time that you need. Don't compare yourself with your classmates, but understand that some of you may need to put in more time than others. Some of you may be facing some challenges outside of the school context. So I encourage you to hang in there to, 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 get, you know, to get through this is just to do the hard work, do the day-to-day -day routine work to get it all done. There's no magic bullet. There's no magic pill. We got to put in the time, put in the work. But I think if you do that, if you do the best you can, you're going to get that much more out of this experience at the end of the semester. And that's what I want from all of you is to leave this uh, experience, uh, regardless of the grade, knowing that you did the very best that you could throughout this whole process. All right, so we'll stop there again this Friday at 8 o'clock. We're going to have our next mandatory online session. We're going to talk about the method section and uh, make sure that this week you uh, have completed 
your theory, your literature review by 12 o'clock midnight, Friday night, going into Saturday morning. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.